How's it going? Thought well, I'd do another little one today. Um, seeing as I went to Pusco the other day and I managed to get some stuff while I was out, I think I went to. I went around a whole bunch of places, didn't I? Um, yeah, and I managed to get some nice stuff. And you can see one hand fingernail painted and one not. That's because I just, you know, how doing your right hand is more difficult. But it's a nice colour, that, isn't it? Really nice. Hmm. Never done it like this before where I've had the, or I've never noticed, the light come on when I'm filming. Is that new? I don't know. Anyways, here is some stuff. Okay. Oh, and I don't have any music on in the background because I've left uh, my laptop downstairs. Sorry. <laughs> right. First thing is this rather fabulous. Big chunky beaded necklace. And this cost me 99 pence. And I thought, well, it's lovely colours anyway. Super, super colours. And then on first thing, you'd think plastic. But as we should all know by now, amber feels a lot like plastic. So I don't know whether this may be amber or not because black light on it and it does fluoresce can you see can you see it's glowing really bright which makes me think that that is amber so I don't know about this one because it is rather fab so that is something that I'm gonna have to look up I don't know whether that's got um huge value to it or whether you know 40 quid i don't know because i've sold just that color amber like ones before for around the 40 50 pound mark but yeah investigation on this one i mean there's no seams on it it's quite light i don't know is it too regular looking to be amber what do you think not sure. Right, this one I found. Where did I find this? Oh, this was in that um, community shop in Kemphick Hill, I think. And this is a rather fabulous brutalist style. So you see all that textures. Looks like it could be a building on the South Bank, doesn't it? Kind of ace. I think it makes my hands look really purple and pink, like with this light on. It's very strange. Anyways, it's a lovely textured gold. It's probably like 1970s collar length chain. I think that's absolutely lush. And from the same place at the same time, I got another one. And I think these two would look really kind of cool together. I could wear them at the same time. This one's got a nice like flat link chain and attached to it is a rope twister chain all as one piece and a little coffee bean style dongle so this might be coral I'm not sure about all of the coral like dingle dangles they've had a uh, quite a few different ones so I'm not sure if uh, that's one of them but you know can find out Are you going to let go or are you both going to let These ones might just want to come out together. Or even bring a third friend. Come on then, you're all coming out. Okay, first little bit. It's a super pretty bit then. Come on. It's on a sterling silver chain. And it's just a little bit of a... Reverse carved glass, or is it intaglio stall? Lovely Stephen. And I think that's like snowdrops, isn't it? Snowdrops. What do you think? Possibly. They're super delicate, super pretty. I think that's dead nice. Right, 
And where are you attached there? There we go, let go. Right, this one I need to do a little bit of a, a fixed job on it. Um, just because it's got this dangle at the bottom and obviously that just looks really weird and out of place. I think it should just have like a little teardrop or a gem kind of dangling from there or maybe a little bit of glass. But that is a nice bit of cloisonne, probably 80s or 90s, but a really thick like puffed uh, circle and it's on a cord but it's got a barrel clasp on the cord. But there are some people out there that really like this clothes and new stuff. So give us a shout if you do. Now this is something that I really love. So this red glass here. I've had this necklace in a few different colours before. I've had it in black with um, like a multicolour. I've had it in orange and then I've got it in red. So this, I think, is Venetian glass. Um, probably like 1910s, 1900s, 1910s. But absolutely lovely. Glass beads and then all strung together with like a, a brass or copper wire. Probably brass wire. Really nice and long as well. Got a little bit of detangling in this side do but yeah sometimes they have like end of day glass as well like Murano glass that one I don't want to force it I'm going to pop through there oh, we're nearly there oh no that's why it was like that but that's an easy fix it's literally just pop them two ends back together and I think I found that on oh I had a black one of these yeah that the black one did that as well but it's an easy enough fix to come together but yeah super lovely beads should hope for about like 25 to 30 on those I think really interesting beads Some more nice beads here and I picked this up, even though it's not particularly rare to find some tiger's eye. I just like that these were hand knotted in between. Really kind of vibrant tiger's eye as well. Like each one shines really well. Really deep. And nice graduated as well. Lovely length. And a nice barrel clasp. And really quite tactile as well. Lovely smooth beads. I think that looks fab in the light, doesn't it? I mean, my hands look awful in the light, but the beads look gorgeous. And this I bought in Puffcore as well. But I think this is the most expensive thing that I... Yeah, this, this was the priciest thing I paid for, which is bizarre because I've got some stuff that... Um, it's worth a bit more, but hey. Um, so this is like a uh, Spanish Toledo Damascene style. So it's like, this is plastic, but it's obviously made to look like Mother of Pearl. Oh, we've got a nice random hair there. Should we, uh... Oh no, it's properly, it's properly attached. We'll, we'll leave that attached there. Nice box clasp with a safety chain. And that just lovely... Like black enamel detail in there. Really nice, wide and chunky. Don't tend to see them like that wide. Okay. I'll show you a couple of uh, cool cats, shall I? So first cool cat is this one. Almost look like, like a panther. But it's got all these swirls on him. He's a Celtic kind of animal. And all the same swirls on the back. There's no maker's mark on it. But I'm wondering whether it's by a company called Sea Gems, possibly. But he's really quite handsome, isn't he? Let's hope he doesn't blind you. 
and then this one I absolutely love I think it's a studio handmade kind of artisan thing that how much fun is he he's got a fish in his belly and I think he's wearing a pair of sunglasses I turn him over small cat with fish um, made from I think it's like two layers of steel perhaps really thick thin steel but yeah he's super fun isn't he I really like him he can stay for a bit and we've got some nice silver bits so I did pay up for this one slightly but that's because I just really liked that shape on it I thought that was really interesting almost like a heartbeat or you know just something kind of cool um, it is, yeah, stamp 925 in there. I think there might be a maker's mark as well, but I haven't checked properly. But that's just a really nice, sturdy bangle. Really pretty. I should really get that listed, because that would probably be a good Christmas seller. Um, these are super cute. Just some marker seat clip-on earrings. I don't think they're sterling silver. I think they're just silver toned, but lovely uh, Maltese cross, aren't they super nice? Really lovely and sparkly as well, like with the mark seat. This, I, again, I really should list this because this is a kind of Christmas present sort of thing. But got a really nice 1970s modernist style shape, St. Christopher. See lovely squared off pendant there. It says SMP silver on the back. I don't know what the SMP stands for. But that's a really quite handsome St. Christopher there. Isn't St. Christopher also, like, obviously we know he's the patron saint of travellers, but isn't he the patron saint of prostitutes as well? Or did I dream that? I'm not sure. This one was sold to me as silver and I bought it because I'm pretty sure it is silver. I'm kind of confident in that, even though there are no marks on there that I can see. Can't see any sterling silver marks, but I think the links are really unusual. It's really quite bizarre. So I bought it just for that, really. I'll have to test it to make sure it is actually silver. Before I sell it on. Oh, is that the mark? No, I'm dreaming it. But yeah, I'll have to test it. But I just thought it's so unusual that it's worth me, uh, worth me spending a few quid on, as I did. And another little bit of silver from that jaunt out is this one. Another kind of Celtic shape there. And can you see there's like little faces they almost look like maybe swans or eels and there's a slight uh like gold wash to the silver as well so that's quite nice stamped on the back sterling silver and there as well but really lovely celtic knot could be swans could be eels who knows as celtic people we're all quite odd aren't we And yet more silver again, but these are quite lovely. Just stamp 925, but really nice bright turquoise in there. Now I'm going to polish these up and they're going to look absolutely stunning. Lovely, simple, kind of almost art deco in shape. Possibly, I don't know, where would you say they were from? I wouldn't be surprised if they were like Mexico, but they're not stamped Mexico, they're just stamped 925. But they have that kind of southwestern vibe. But yeah, really gorgeous bright colour on those. Super duper like them. Now this next find was a bit of a bizarre one. Um, not a bit of silver. And you would think, just looks like well, that's just a regular bit of costume jewellery. That's just a bit of plastic in there. It's not got a vintage clasp. What's so special about that? Well, this is... Kendra Scott 
and I always see like the Americans um, when they're doing like jewellery and baggins when they get a Kendra Scott they get quite excited so I looked up Kendra Scott after I found this and I got quite excited too because bizarrely like her jewellery is a ridiculous price to begin with considering that this isn't sterling silver this isn't gold this is costume stuff but yeah they get some crazy prices in America not so much over here because I don't think she knows so much over here but yeah, pleased to find some Kendra Scott. If only just to to feel like I've got a, a link with the uh, with the American jewelry and jars and, and baggers. Right, it's two last things. So it's a, it's a much shorter video this week, I'm afraid, because obviously I haven't been out as much, so I haven't been able to find as much for you. But two really cool last things. This pair of earrings, oh my god. How gorgeous are they? Sterling silver. In fact, I think they stamp 950, so that's Britannia silver. Different types of stones in there. I'm not sure what stones they would be. That might be lapis. Uh, maybe a carnelian, maybe an agate in there. But how awesome are they? Now these are definitely going to be like... Some kind of southwestern or Zuni style, maybe. I bloody love them. They're going to have a nice high ticket price on them on my Etsy store. I've got to be honest, because they're so unusual. They've got to be some kind of artisan studio piece. Oh, is it piece? Everybody take a shot. But I think they're absolutely bloody stunning. Possibly keepers. Catch and release, as Margaret would say. And then the last thing is teeny tiny. Look at how teeny tiny this ring is. So it's got to be a kid's ring, surely. But this is nine carat gold and diamonds in there. Like, would you give a kid a nine carat gold and diamond ring? I don't know. Or maybe you are meant to wear it as this, as like a midi ring. Bizarre. It hasn't got full set of hallmarks. It's got 375. I think it's like um, maybe foreign hallmarks. They're not British hallmarks anyway. But yeah, isn't that weird? Let me know what you think about these. These are super tiny. It doesn't even fit on my mandrel to... Uh... I nearly said mandrake then. What's a mandrake? Is that for Harry Potter? But yeah doesn't fit on the mandrel for me to be able to actually measure it but yeah golden diamonds super cute though right so that's what i've got for you for this week guys sorry it's not a much longer video but i hope you enjoyed it anyway as ever if there is anything that from here that you fancy getting for yourself or for a christmas present or for a christmas present for yourself which is the best just email me below and uh, if you beat me to listing it on eBay, as in like if you if you email me before I've listed it on eBay, I'll obviously do you a better price than what it would be on my eBay or Etsy stores because it's only fair. But yeah, let me know what you think and um, I shall speak to you again soon. Uh, bye bye now. Bye bye.